Riverboat Days is the largest community festival in Northwest BC, highlighting the culture and heritage of the region. Friday night will be the opening with the customary cannon going off to commence the festivities. Saturday morning will be the parade, and Councillor Brian Downey says this year's parade will not disappoint. The parade on Saturday morning, it will be the longest parade we have seen in a long, long time. It is uh, l lots of people are coming forward to be involved in Riverboat Days. After the parade, concerts in the park will be happening at George Little Park, complete with food vendors and entertainment, with more events continuing over the nine-day festival. And uh, I, I think uh, people will really enjoy it. Throughout the weekend, we have uh, beach volleyball, uh, Kitzel's Canyon uh, tours. Um, next weekend, uh, we will have um, the, the airport putting on a big... Uh, as you know, the airport's been going through uh, re uh, renovations with their arrivals area, and they will have that uh, uh, open. Um, and then on the Sunday night, the last day, the last event of Riverboat Days, we'll have the drone show. Councillor Downey says Riverboat Days can't happen without community support, and he says the volunteers, sponsors, and contributors are what makes the festival great. And one particularly I'd like to mention is PCL Construction, the, the company that's uh, building the hospital, has last year and this year are putting up the the big uh, saddle tent in the park. Uh, I really, really appreciate. Uh, the contribution all of, all of these sponsors make to uh, to the festival. Riverboat Days runs August 3rd to 11th. For CFTK News in Terrace, I'm Jaylene Matthews.